All right, folks, let's get to it and set up libstl2 on Macs. I'm going to be testing on a Mac M1, but I've tested this as old as versions as High Sierra and even before. So if you want to do OpenGL on Macs using SDL2, or even if you want to do metal development, this video should help you get set up with the SDL portion of your development journey. So let's dive in. All right, let's get ready to install SDL2 on our Macs. So what we're going to need to do is go to the lib SDL page. And from here, we're going to want to download the SDL2 libraries for Mac. So I'm going to go down to SDL releases, find Mac OS X, and download whatever the latest version is and get ready to install it. As long as it's a version greater than two, you'll be all set to follow along with these lessons. OK, so what SDL2 gives us is the libraries, the header files, and everything else that we need in this SDL2 framework. It may be helpful to actually look at the readme as well, and we can see the setup here. So for Max, it gives us a nice direction here. It says to install, copy the stl2.framework to library slash frameworks. So let's go ahead and open up a new finder window. And from here, from our finders, what I can do is go to go, and let's go ahead and select a specific folder, slash library, slash frameworks, go there. And what we'll want to do is copy over the SDL2 framework. Now, I've already got it installed, so I'm going to remove it just so I'm doing this from scratch. So let's remove that there and copy in SDL2 framework. And you'll need to authenticate this appropriately. So once you've done that, you now have all of the libraries and header files inside of this directory. You can go ahead and peek around here, and you should eventually find the SDL2 H file that you need. Now, in order to get started, we're going to need some project that we can use to compile our program with, just to make sure that SDL2 has been installed properly. So if you're following along with this series, we'll want to find the SDL2 tutorials. And I'm going to recommend Project 6, which installs a program that has SDL2 as well as OpenGL set up. Now, of course, if you're going to go on and use an API like Metal or whatever, this will work just fine as well. So let's go ahead and get clone. And we'll have this repository. And let's cd into number six here, which has OpenGL and SDL. Now, typically what I want to do is compile this project. By default, Clang++ is what we're going to want to use on Mac. And I like to typically run the main.cpp. Now, just as a brief aside here, Mac users who don't have a compiler installed are going to need to run one more command in order to get set up. They'll want to run Xcode select and install. And this will set up the entire Xcode suite with the Clang compilers that you need. There may be other ways to do this through Brew, but I recommend installing the Xcode developer suite as it's quite nice if you want to do further Mac or iOS development. But since we're just going to be working with Clang++ and I already happen to have run uh, that command, I have Clang available. So let's try to compile our source. So I'm going to just run clang++ and then the main cpp file to try to compile it. And what we're going to notice is that we can't find the SDL header file path. So what we need to do is keep in mind where that frameworks folder was. And let's try to get an idea of what this is. So we need to look into headers, and we should be able to find sdl.h here. So let's go ahead and try to compile here clang and include, well, we need this path here, whatever this path happens to be here for our header files. So it's in library, frameworks, SDL2 framework, and in the headers folder. So let's include library slash frameworks slash SDL2 dot framework paying attention to the lowercase slash headers. And let's go ahead and try again. Hmm, still can't find it. Well, let's take a closer look at our source code here. The code that I've provided just assumes that there's an SDL2 directory as well. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this and just make it SDL.h. Let's try to compile again. OK, that seemed to work. So the change here, again, uh, if I can 
run this is to change the header file. Depending on where you put things in your framework folder, this may vary. It just happens that the Mac has to have a different folder path for you. Okay, so now that we've resolved that, we can go ahead and try to compile or find rather the glad.h files. So just looking at our folder structure, we have glad here. And if I list out the contents of that, there is an include file and there is further a glad folder, which contains the glad.h. So we need to include this path as part of our compilation. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this just a little bit bigger so folks can see and follow along with. So we want to include again the dot slash glad folder, include, and try again. And at this point, we're in better shape, but we're still getting some linking errors. And what's going on is we can't find the SDL libraries. We haven't linked to them, as well as it looks like the glad functions here. So we actually need to compile, since we have the source code for our glad, that glad.c file. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to our file list that we're going to compile. And that is in dot slash glad slash source slash glad dot C. And that should resolve these errors here because those functions are actually defined and we have the source code with glad here. Okay, and that appears to have gotten rid of those errors. And now we need to link in SDL. So where are we gonna link this in from? Well, we need to, in this case for our Mac users, link to this frameworks folder. That's how we've created our SDL2 library. So we need to tell where the frameworks folder is. That's in library slash frameworks. So let's try again. And we're getting a little bit closer but we still haven't picked the particular library that we would like to link to. So the framework that we'd like is SDL2. And once we do that, we should have an a.out file that we could run. So I'll execute that with dot slash a.out. And just like that, we have our application up and running. I can press some of the keys here, which we'll learn about in the SDL series and we have our SDL window that we can appropriately exit as well. And in just a moment, it'll terminate. Okay, so we've successfully set up our program. One last thing I'd like to add to our output here, and I'm gonna make it nice and big so that everybody can see it, is the output. Meaning, I wanna actually name this program something more interesting than a.out, so I'm gonna rerun this dash o and just call it prog here and the ls here. Now the warning that we're getting is because we're treating a C file, which is our glad.c file, as C++ input because we're using a C++ compiler. This is okay for this lesson, or you can rename or refactor the glad.c program into a C++ program. Now, some other things that may be interesting for Macs in particular to help you troubleshoot things that may arise. One thing that I've found useful is in the rare instance that you have two graphics cards, meaning you have an integrated card and say an NVIDIA or AMD card, you might want to switch to that particular graphics card. So if you look at the system profiler and the display data types, which is listed here, displays data type. And if you run this, this will tell you some information about your machine. What architecture you're using, I'm using a new M1. I have a built-in GPU and some other information here. So it may be useful to know if you have multiple graphics cards for your machine. There are some other interesting things that you can do with Mac, such as downloading X quartz and running GLX info to try to find out more GL info from within that system if you wanna query what version of OpenGL your system supports. Keep in mind again that most Macs will support version 4.1 or below at this point in time. Okay, so that's it. You're now ready to go with SDL2.